I don't care! A man, I'm oh, 15 years old! I'm talking! He's an old man! Hey. You wanna disturb me when I'm Who? talking! Who the f you like, bro? Who the f the, the verse, he completely ignores the verse yeah. where it says that's not according to the covenant that made with their fathers yeah, in the trade. Who were the fathers? Who were the fathers? Who were the fathers? Get the f away from me! Get the f away from me! Get the f away from me! Who are you? No, no, hold it. Mighty God, El Gabor! Everlasting Father! My question to you is, who is the man who is born, who is called Mighty God in the Old Testament? Answer. Zachariah. Yeah. Where's it saying Zachariah yeah, that the wonderful God is Zachariah or the wonderful council is Zachariah? It's annoying, it's annoying. All I want Every yeah, concept, is for me to be able to finish what I say. That's all I want. Saying he's going to get boys to beat me up. So you know what? I don't want to speak to you. Oh, come on, Chubby. Nice, Charles. He said I'm not quoting the scripture and I'm about to quote the scripture. Nice, Charles. I said that. I said you insulted me and you said you're going to get boys on me. Okay, I apologize. Okay, I apologize. Ah, okay, I apologize. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I apologize. Ah, okay, okay. At least let's give let's give you some charity. Yeah. He apologize. I apologize. You can't say nothing. He apologize. He apologize. Okay, let's see where let's see where this goes. No. All I want, yeah is to be able to finish what I'm saying without interruption. Yeah, just don't be long. See, see I can't even finish that. Okay. I just said don't be long, dude. Yeah. Now let me make my claim, yeah? Uh. Now, now, yeah? The question is, who do we obey? Yeah? He says I've been quoting my words. I'm going to shut up. He can check it. It's Deuteronomy chapter 5 from verse 28. Boy. You read it. See what it says. All right, I'll read it out. No, read it, read it. Read yeah, it. I'm going to get up on here. Yeah, read it. Because it's a, yeah, read it. Let him make a point. Yeah. Deuteronomy 20, Deuteronomy 5. Actually, no, no, you know what? You make your point first, yeah. then we'll talk yeah. about it. Because, because anytime I talk, Because I don't know, know what you're talking me. about. You have to know what is your Make your okay, point okay, first, okay, then okay, we can okay, go okay, to the okay, verse. Okay, okay, make your you point. Okay, 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 thank you. Yeah, we're listening, we're listening, Charlie. And tell him not to jump in. Make your point then. Yeah, we're listening, we're listening. Go, go. Bring your evidence, Charles. I'm going to do this. All right. Let's give him a chance. Give me a chance. Thank you. Let's give him a chance. Yeah, at least hear me. Himself. At least hear me. Okay. So, we're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 5. All right. I didn't write this, yeah? yeah. So, don't be angry at me. Yeah. If you have a problem, yeah. you have to have a problem with the text. Exactly. So, hear what it says. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Read that. Let's see what it says. Because it says, I've been saying my words, I'll finish it. It says, yeah. Go on, Charles. He said, so this is. Chapter 20, this is from chapter chapter 5, verse 28, maybe the Christian. It says, yeah, and Jehovah yeah. heard the voice of your word when you spoke unto me. And Jehovah said unto me, I have heard the voice of the words of these people which they have spoken unto you. They have well said all that they have spoken. Only if they have such a mind as this, to fear me, to keep all my commandments always, yeah. so it will go well with them and their children forever. Right. No. So make, make, make. I agree. So hang on. Okay, okay. Hang on. Finish your point. Okay, I'm gonna finish with this. All right. So the question is, yeah. who is the first man yeah. that looked at the Torah and said, you know what? This is old and this is New Testament. Ah, okay. And why do you believe that person? Okay. And because he says here yeah, forever, okay. why don't you believe what said? So well, let's question? actually read the, the, the verse in context. Let's not no, read context okay. into it, I told it, you to right? read it before you said no. So you all right, so it. oh, that they have I, I such an heart in them no, that they would fear from, me. The Are you interrupting me? Are you interrupting me like you said I was doing to you? Why do you be quiet? No, no, you told me. You told me, do not interrupt. Now I'm reading it. This is what I mean, you're a coward. You're a coward. Yeah, you see how I said, JC, I don't want to debate because he's a coward. No, but he's cutting the text. He's not I said verse 28. He's going to verse 29. Where do you think I'm going, bro? I'm reading 29 for a reason because you already read out the text. No, read both of them. Read both of them. Exactly. Read both of them. Do, 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 do. Be quiet when I'm speaking so I can talk. So I can talk. Be quiet so I'm speaking. Yeah, yeah, run off, run off. Basically, basically. Read it. I'm reading the text. Can you be quiet? Okay, yeah. Hello, okay. Give him a chance, Chuck. Come on. Then the Lord heard the voice of your words yeah. when he when you spoke to me, and the Lord said to me, I've heard the voice of the words of this people, which they have spoken to you. They are right in all that they have spoken. Oh, that they had such a heart in them that they would fear me and always keep my commandments, my commandments. 
that it may be well with them and their children for, forever. It doesn't say you keep these forever. It says that it may be well with yeah, your children yeah. forever. Okay. So if you keep the commandments, it will be well with you. But if you do not keep them, those commandments, it will not be well with you. That's why it says in Jeremiah 31 verse 31 that there is a new covenant. God is going to put his laws on your heart. That's what it says in Jeremiah 31 31. What is that new covenant, bro? You still haven't established that. You've, you're claiming this says, this says that no, you're supposed to keep those commandments forever. But no, it doesn't just say that. It says, it will be well if you keep those commandments forever. So let's read it in context. Go on. Do you see... Rebut, rebut okay, I'm going to rebut him, yeah? Do you see how corrupt the Christian is? Re can you, go, you, to the, can you go to it, please? No, no. Hold to the first one. Let me finish. Let me finish. All, all the guys doing is saying oh, Christians yeah. are corrupt. You see, you, see, see? you see how this page is working? I'll let you finish. You speak from the text. Okay, listen, yeah? Right, right, speak, speak from the text. Rebut his voice. And that's what I'm about to do if you let me speak. Watch out! Wicked. Rebut listen, my yeah. point. I'm yeah? going to rebut the point. Go on, In fact, yeah, I'm not going to rebut. I'm going to let the text. Go on, I'm going to read Jeremiah 31 that he read, yeah? yeah. Let's go to Jeremiah. Read, but read don't it. forget, yeah? Read it. What I quoted, yeah. I quoted from the Torah, from the book of Moses. Yeah, did. I did not go to the prophets. He went, I went to the book where he said the Tomorrow is forever. But you know what he did? He went to the... The prophets are guided by the same God no, as Moses. No, no, he wouldn't even let me finish. We're not, we're not stuck in a Torah like you. Look, let me finish. Listen, uh, God, in the book of Deuteronomy, yeah. chapter 4, verse 2, he says, do not add to this commandment that I command you, do not take away from it. In Deuteronomy chapter 13, do not add to it, do not take away from it. So we, don't have, so we don't have to, we don't have to believe the prophet. We believe it, but he's already told us, obey the commandment okay. rest on the sabbath yeah. you know what i used to love saturdays yeah, yeah. i run a recruitment company yeah okay, okay. i used to work seven days a week yeah you know what yeah why? when i when i after i found this guy into a monologue see, you know, see? Hello. finish finish quickly, hello, 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 hello. when i started <laughs> obeying the commandment yeah. on saturday like yesterday yeah I rest. I do no work. It's the best day in the world uh, because yeah, I get to rest. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. do my business. Uh, I rest. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah, if you, you want to ask him, because it's a waste of my time. Yeah, Let yeah. me get this he first. Said it's for anyway. all so he doesn't keep the Sabbath. He doesn't obey what he says. And he says, Okay, I'll let you talk and I'm going to shut up. I'm, I'm going to let, I'm okay, let, I'm let, I'm I'm let him talk I'm first and I'm going to talk after. Yeah, address the new covenant. I'm going to address the new covenant. You didn't address that. I'm going to address it. So, 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 so you keep all the commandments? Yes. No, no, I'm asking you a question. Yes. 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 So you yes. keep all the commandments? Yes. yes, that we can obey, yes. Okay. Right. So you lie. You don't lie. But can you let me finish? No, no, I'm asking I you I know, but can you let me finish? I'm asking with... you in a gentle way, brother. Brother, I'm asking you in a gentle way. Bro, can I finish with... Can I... Can I... Let me finish with him first. You haven't inspired me. I will have time me. in the <laughs> world for you. I'm asking you a simple I know question. I will have time in the world for you. You are a man of oh, knowledge. The Muslims and the Christians. Look at them. They're so corrupt. We are proud shut up! We are proud Christians. They listen. shut up. Let me talk to you. See how it is. I'm talking to him now. This is a Muslim and Christian. They hate each other. Muslim, He's not Muslim. Oh, yeah, Dude, you racist. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, I didn't. Right, let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. Let's speak. Right, right, go and talk, Charles. Okay. One minute, bro. Before talk, Charles. Charles, talk. Yeah? Me, Hulk, address the verse I said to you. Jeremiah. Yeah. Address the verse I said to you first. Yeah, and then I'll let you speak. Because this guy nowhere, bro. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do, yeah. I'm just going to read the text. All right. Yeah? Read, read it. It says, yeah? Behold, days come, says the Lord. Who? The Lord. Not Jesus. Not Allah. The Lord. What? Days come, says the Lord. That I will make a new covenant. Oh, new covenant. Yeah? You love that. New covenant. Love it, man. Let him come. I want to finish it when in here. Where's Trace? Oh, uh. So listen, it says, yeah, 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 days come, says the Lord, that I will make a new covenant, yeah, right, with the house of Israel, not with the heathens, with Israel, exactly, yep. and the house of Judah, yeah. Yehuda, yep. we keep the commandments, 
He says, I will make a new covenant, yeah? Not according to the covenant I made with your father. In the Not according to the covenant oh, I made with your father. Let me finish the text. He's already buried himself. I don't know why we're here. No, 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 no that I will make with the house of Israel and the house of Judah in those days. I will put the covenant in their heart. And no longer with a man says, come know the Lord. He says, for they all know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. At the end of days, that's what the text says. He said, this is the covenant. Oh, no, no, new covenant. No, the covenant, the Torah is going to be written in their heart. And it goes in Ezekiel, it continues. No, no, you're just going on right now. Let's, let, let's actually... Re no, I don't care, JC. I'm going to speak, yeah? The, the verse, he's, he completely ignores the verse where it says that's not according to the covenant that made with their fathers yeah, in the day that took them. Who were the fathers? Who were the fathers? Be quiet. Who were the fathers? Who were the fathers? You can't ask me, can you? Abraham, Moses, Moses, Abraham, Isaac are the fathers. Okay. What? So the fathers of Abraham, Moses and Isaac are who? Okay. Yeah, right. did, did, did that text say? So what did they receive? When you went to Deuteronomy 5, 29, yeah? Okay. What did they receive? Can you let me speak? What covenant did they speak? receive? Can I speak? What? No, 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 no. You're going to ask my question. You're going to ask my question, you would. Can I speak? Stop running. Get right. Ask my question. What's the question? Right. What covenant did they receive during the time of Moses? Because again, this says there's okay. a new covenant. Yeah. says there's a new covenant yeah, yeah. that is unlike that covenant. So what covenant did they receive? They got the beautiful Torah. The beautiful law of mankind. <laughs> okay, so they got the Torah. They got the Torah, right. And, but God says there will be a new covenant unlike the one before. So a new covenant, a new contract, not like the Torah before. He said it's going to be written in their heart. Dude, you're, you're done. You're done out here. I don't know why you're even here. I'm keep panicking, keep panicking. Walking my statues, and they're gonna keep my ordinances, and they're gonna do them. Yeah, they will. That's they're gonna do it. Because they're being a heart. Did he say? It's called Christianity, Jesus? my friend. Did he say Jesus? He said they're gonna do the law. That's what the end of that's what the book says. He said they're gonna right. do it. And it'll be in their hearts, wouldn't it? Yes, it's gonna make him. Bro, read the text. Right, so it's not beholden on because the Old Testament law wasn't in their hearts; it was on tablets. Can you answer you're, you're ignoring what you're saying, bro. Okay. You don't know what you're saying. Do you know anything about Old Testament? Seriously. Seriously. No, I don't. Who said? Who gave that book Old Testament? And again, remember, you said earlier, even, right? Even that where does the Bible say there was an Old Covenant and a New Covenant? No, or not Old Testament and a New Testament? Listen, no. Do you know what a testament is? Do you know what a testament is? Who said? Who, who brought Right, a testament is a covenant. No, who brought that? That's the New Covenant. No, who? Right there, uh, in your own books. Yeah, 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 run if you want. So I don't no, care, listen, you're a coward. Listen. Listen. You've got no arguments. Listen. Listen. Okay. Listen. 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 Oh, bro, listen. 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 that's a waste of time. Does the new, yeah, I'm gonna, listen, yeah. Does the, does the new covenant, does he say in the text that a man is gonna come and die for our sins? Is that what the text says? Is that in the text? What is actually in the text? Oh, uh, let's see when you let me finish, man. Did the text say? You're not making any points. <laughs> You're not making any points. This is what I mean. You're just talking. Did the text say, when he says a new covenant, did that text say, I'm going to send you a man and you're going to worship that man as your God? Well, Isaiah says, Isaiah says, Isaiah 53 says that a man will be pierced for our transgressions. So you ignored that, didn't you? We are telling us that no man will be pierced for our transgressions. Okay. Who's having the sin of, the, of Israel on them? Do you want to read? Do you want me to go through Isaiah 53 with you? And what about Isaiah 96? You don't know anything about it. Oh yeah, yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, read it out to him. Read it out to him. No, no, no. Be quiet. Yeah, read it out to him. No, you've been talking a while. Read it out to him. Read out Isaiah 96. So the name is there. Jesus is not. No, no, no. Hold on. You're gonna be quiet. Read out Isaiah 96 in this book. Jesus Christ. Wait, wait, wait. Jesus Christ. Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? Listen to me, man. Are you a Christian? Isaiah 96. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Isaiah 96. Hey, none of this conversation. Isaiah 96. Let's bury this cow. He said, "He is." Let's bury this cow. I don't know. Isaiah 96. 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 Isai
Oh, it's Zora 96. Let's read out. Go on, show, show, show. Listen. We are about to hear Jesus. Do you want me to read out? Because he's not listening. Steve, Steve, you have to shout. You have to shout on his quick. For unto us, for unto us a child is given. For unto us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulder. And he will be called the wonderful counselor. The mighty God. El Gabor. Everlasting Father. My question to you is, who is the man who is born, who is called mighty God in the Old Testament? Answer. Zachariah. Yeah. Zachariah. Okay, show me that. Show, show me Zachariah. Show me Zachariah. Come on, let's do this. Show me, show me. <laughs> when Zachariah has been called the son of God, or he's called God, or he's called everlasting father. Show me. Yeah, show us, show us, show us. Go on. I gave you time, show us. Yeah, show us, show us. Okay. I want to show them. Tick, tick one. These are Tick, tick two. Tick, tick three. Answer. You run over all the way. I'm going to answer. Open I'm gonna answer. Open your Bible up. These are the people that just said they're gonna show me Jesus. Jesus is not with Jesus. Dude, go to the point. Go to the point. <laughs> okay, if it's not Jesus. Who is oh, it? Show me from the text. You don't know. You don't know. You said Zachariah. Go to Zachariah. Bro, go, bro, we're near. In fact, I don't even need this. Okay. I don't need this. No, he said, he said, what he said, Zachariah. Bro, bro, bro. I don't know. Zachariah. Yeah, you're running, aren't you? You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. Where the Jews? Where the Jews? He's scared. That's why he's running. So who's the Jews? Hold on. Who's the Jews? The Parushim. Who's the Jews? It's a sex. You want to answer? No, who's the Jews? Who's the everlasting father? What do you mean? The Jews are sex. Who's the everlasting father? The who Jews Who's the mighty God? They used to be the ancient no, but where are they? In Israel. What color are they? What do you mean color? Look, skin color. He's not talking about color. Nobody cares. You don't want to debate, bro. He doesn't want to debate. Hey, hey, JC, JC, JC. Is the white? Do the back. Dude's running. running. He's running. He's running. Yeah, yo, you're running though. You said it was Zachariah. We got you caught. Cool. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, no. Listen, listen. listen. Okay. You said first it was a Zachariah. No, no. Let me finish. Yes. No, 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 Good. Who was his name? Yahweh. Yahweh. Yahweh Yeshua. Yahweh Yeshua. 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 Yesh
You're fighting old people. Let's see your behavior. You're fighting old people. You are fighting old people. That's what you're doing. You're literally fighting old people. We are debating here, not here for the fight. Come on. See, see? By their fruits, you shall know them. You're fighting old people. Get the out. You're fighting old people. You're fighting old people. You're fighting old people. Bro, you're fighting. You're fighting old people. I don't know why you're fighting old people. He's an old man, you're fighting I don't care! I'm a man, I'm 50 years old. I'm talking! He's an old man. You want to disturb me when I'm talking? Who the f are you, bro? Who the f are you? If you want to fight him, then you can, but I ain't talking about it. I don't know why he's attacking old man. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why you're fighting an old man though. You got problems, kid. You come from, bro. I don't care. You can come from Stockwell Park State. I don't care. Go away. You're a bad man. You're not a bad man. You try to fight an old man. You're a bad man, yeah. Bro, you're a bad man, yeah. Boggy people. You're a bad man. Boggy people. Okay. Calm down. You're a bad man. You wasted time. You can handle a shotgun, yeah. You're a bad man. Bro, you just embarrass yourself. He's gonna die with hypertension. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got high blood pressure, that's it. Bad man, yeah? Do you know what I respect you, you know? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, my man was saying Allah Akbar. And he has a right to say what he wants. Man. This coward this cannot attack people for saying what they want I'm to say. Years old. He's a coward, yeah. he needs to go you're away. You're an idiot, you're a fool. And and that, is that all you've got, bro? Right, seriously, you're gonna attack old men and then talk about cowards. Yeah, you're an idiot. Relax, don't be hypertension. Seriously, you need to calm yourself down. La, la, <laughs> la, 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 but anyway, where's JC? Where's JC? I'm going to touch him up here. You can take your shotgun, yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, shotgun. Oh, you're a liar, man. Come on, right, shotgun. So you want to talk? No, I don't want to. You just attacked an old man. You need to go away, man. If I'm talking, yeah? Yeah, irrelevant. I'm 50 years old. Irrelevant. We're in a park. I don't need a man. Yeah, man. If I'm talking, yeah? Yeah, irrelevant. I'm 50 years old. Irrelevant. We're in a park. I don't need a man to come and interrupt me. It's irrelevant. We're in a park. You should get used to it. What? So praise the Lord. As you see, our uh, Hebrew Israelite brother, he wants to try and make a point that we should believe in the Old Testament and we should reject the New Testament and we should reject Messiah, which is completely wrong. My message to Hebrew Israelite is please don't take the verse out of the context. The Bible is full of context. You have to read it in context. So don't get deceived. Satan is trying to deceive you. Read Isaiah, Isaiah 9 6. It clearly says that unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his will be called the everlasting father, the son of God, and the mighty God. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah. He brought up Deuteronomy 5 28 29. The problem with that verse is it doesn't specifically say that that's the truth. Twice! You've attacked I'm here me. talking, dude. You've Go away. Twice. Oh, no way. Bad fire. Idiot. What do you think of this waste man here? Um, nothing. It's a waste man. Anyway, <laughs> as I was... Come on, come on, Why are you saying bring... Oh, my, I can't. I can't with him. <laughs> but basically, yeah, as I was saying, yeah, basically, he, the guy brought up Jew to money, me. Yeah, that's, yeah, the guy brought up Deuteronomy 28 to 29. The problem with bringing up that verse is it doesn't specifically say that, that commandment will stay with you for all, for all time. It, it, rather, it says, as an advice thing, if you, if you remain and you keep these commandments, then it will be well for you and your generations. It's advice. It's not anything that's stating directly, oh, this will be stuck with you forever. No, it wouldn't be because as with any contract, as a covenant is a contract, if you break it, then you've broken off the contract. There needs to be a new covenant. Jeremiah 31, 31 says there is a new covenant. That new covenant is the blood of Christ. As Isaiah 53 says, he will be pierced for our transgressions. It's clear from the context of the Bible that the Bible doesn't claim the things that he says was claiming. That's for that, that um, I, I don't know. The guy is mentally ill. I don't think anybody should debate him anymore. Pray for him, family. Yeah, man.